we are back in another one or I guess this is a new channel so not another one the first of many so welcome I'm Daniel I'll be your market engineer so today we're gonna to be talking about QuantumScape or Kensington Capital Acquisitions Corp ticker symbol KCAC so these guys do solid-state batteries very interesting, very in high demand with all the electronics and stuff we have in the world with the EV market booming. Solid state batteries have the potential to be huge. I scrolled through their website a little bit. I didn't really find anything. No data sheets, which is kind of disappointing, but we will take what they give us and dissect it. The one chart they do give us is this energy density chart, which you can see kind of the progression of batteries. And you see our current day lithium ion polymer. And then you see their solid state technology, which is about twice or maybe 175% as energy dense as that. So these other stats they have up here are pretty interesting. We talked about energy density in the chart down there, but what's interesting is they say that they've, one of the reasons they achieved this is by eliminating the graphite silicone anode, which is basically the negative part of the battery which this has been a big problem. This is actually called out in 2008 that the negative part of the battery being graphite, silicone, these you know different composites, it'll only accept so many lithium ions, which basically means that it will only allow so much energy to flow. There is an opposition, there is a resistance there. And so they've overcome said resistance by changing the way that the battery has been manufactured which allows for extraordinarily high charge rates, 15 minutes for 80%. That's crazy. Plug in your phone. How long does it take to charge? Hour, hour and a half for the most part. That's because most lithium technology can only safely charge at 0.75C because of this opposition that we just talked about. So they've overcame that. This is huge for the EV market, okay? I don't want to pull over and have to charge my car for 30 minutes or an hour to get home. If I'm running out of gas, I pull over, pop a couple bucks in, 20 bucks, five bucks, whatever, and I'm out of there. This is the same thing. You pull in, a couple minutes, in and out, and you can get home. Or if you really want to gas up or charge up, you can hang out for a minute. So I guess in that respect, it is a little bit different, but very interesting and very huge life with all solid state materials you know you can expect high lifetimes you know integrated circuits or solid state those are going to last a lot longer than the electrolytic uh, capacitors that are on there right that's why your TV goes out and starts flickering it's not because the chips are dying it's because the electrolytics are dying safety whatever cost that remains to be seen whatever but the other interesting thing is, let's go down here. Investors, man. Some big names in here. Volkswagen Continental, SIAC, Bill Gates. I don't really know any of those other ones off the top of my head. I'm probably not giving those guys enough credit, but my point is there is some big players in here, man. And just the way EV tech, disruptive technology has been going, I see these guys being really big. And at the very least, I see crazy hype potential, especially with a name like Bill Gates mixed in there. So let's go into the technicals, man. So I've made a little observation, and I want to point it out for people thinking about getting into this because I really want to get in, but they need to come down more. And I'll explain why in a second. So we'll start here so I can explain. All right, so. They make the announcement right here that they're going to have a merger. The initial pop happens, cools off, kind of waiting period. And then as more news starts to come out, hype builds and it starts to go up. You know, I see a slight pullback here. And then somewhere in here they announce the actual date of the merger. You know, it's all speculated in here of when the actual date is. They announce the date of the merger, ticker symbol changes. And it just absolutely goes to the moon, man. And uh, you don't believe me here. Let's let's keep going. This is another great one. I love these guys. I'm heavily invested in them. Shell, Hylion, Tortoise Acquisitions Corp merger. So these guys uh, 
same thing, right? They announce it's going to happen. They run up, cool off. Hype starts to build as we start to, you know, to speculate when the merger is going to happen and we should have a merger date any day now. But you see what happens, right? They peak, they cool off, and then they run again. And this is happening with all of them with, you know, the exception. Some of them, they don't cool off as long. They've, you know, they, they ramp a lot quicker. But the point of all of this is they have this spike and they cool off. So we need to wait for a buying opportunity. I'm waiting for a buying opportunity on this guy. I really want to see under 16 before I get into this. I think that that's reasonable. And based on all the things that I've gone over in this video, it's likely that we are just seeing the beginning of this peak and it will likely cool off in a couple of weeks here, maybe less. Could be kind of like DPHC, right? Where this, well, how long was this? This was about a, you know, you had maybe a week or two to get this nice little level at 12. So keep your eye on this guy. Don't buy. I'm getting in heavy at 16. Oh, and none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. I was running them. And, um, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next one.